It's 10 trivia questions on bizarre facts from the crowd per database. This is trivia with buds. And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thank you so much for checking out another episode of my show, which ideally comes out every single day. There are over 1,200 episodes to listen to, so just go back on your favorite podcast app and listen till your heart is full of trivia knowledge. And uh, enjoy today's episode all about bizarre facts from my friend Jenny Yetter, one of my newer Patreon subscribers. Thank you, Jenny, for your patronage over at patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Uh, very grateful that you like the show and that you're on board the support bandwagon here for the podcast. We have a couple of fun facts for you. I'm looking at my calendar of trivia, 365 days of amazing trivia, and I'll share two of these with you from a couple weekends ago before we dive into the episode. Here's your first little preview question. What film contains the iconic line, fasten your seatbelts, it's going to be a bumpy night? That was All About Eve from 1950. The famous line is spoken by Betty Davis, who plays Margot Channing. And your other little question here, every year on Easter, the Greek village of Vrantados holds an event called Ruka Tapalamos. What happens during Ruka Tapalamos? The answer is two churches engage in a mock war, firing small rockets at each other's bell towers during Easter services. The resulting light display is beautiful, but be careful if you plan on attending. Rockets sometimes veer off course. <laughs> so we'll stay away from the rockets over in uh, that Greek village around Easter time. We are going to do uh, 10 questions on bizarre facts. All the questions for today's episode come from crowdper.com. You can go get a free trial at crowdper.com. Not a free trial, actually a free account uh, where you can host trivia for, I think, up to 20 players, and you could do 10 questions per round, and you can set up three rounds. Um, I use crowdper as my everyday subscription service more than anything else to run my business. And uh, they have a huge database of questions. They update every Monday with like five or six new rounds. So go check it out. Crowdper.com. They don't pay me to say this, but uh, I appreciate them. Oh, so much. And uh, shout out to Ross Newton, everybody over at Crowdper. All right, here we go. 10 questions on bizarre facts starting right about now. Here we go. It's bizarre fact trivia for Jenny Yetter, and here's question one. Which of these masterpieces of American literature hit bookshelf stores before the others? Was it Catch-22, The Catcher in the Rye, Slaughterhouse-Five, or Fahrenheit-451? Which masterpiece of American literature hit bookstore shelves before the others? Catch-22, Catcher in the Rye, Slaughterhouse-Five, or Fahrenheit-451? Question number two, tabby cats have one of five unique patterns. The most recognizable featuring narrow stripes that run perpendicular to the spine is called blank because of its resemblance to a fish. What is that pattern called? Fill in the blank for tabby cat spinal patterns. Question number three, approximately how many hours does it take the average hen to produce one egg? Approximately how many hours does it take the average hen to produce one egg? Question number four, how many different words does the best-selling Dr. Seuss book Green Eggs and Ham contain? How many different words does the best-selling Dr. Seuss book Green Green Eggs and Ham contain? Is it 50 words, 100 words, 150 words, or 200 words? How many different words in Green Eggs and Ham? Different words is the key there. 50, 100, 150, or 200. Question number five, in literature, the protagonist is the main character... The Deuteragonist is the second most important character. What is the third most important character called? Number five, the third most important character after the protagonist and the Deuteragonist. What is that third one called? Question number six, taking cravings and convenience to a whole new level. Where can you buy mashed potatoes from a vending machine at your local 7-Eleven store? Is that Australia, Ireland, Philippines, or Singapore? Where can you get mashed potatoes from a vending machine at your local 7-Eleven, Australia, Ireland, Philippines, or Singapore?
Question number seven, which of these was not a costume worn by a member of the 70s disco group Village People? Park ranger, cop, cowboy, or construction worker? Was it park ranger, cop, cowboy, or construction worker? A costume that was not worn by the 70s group The Village People. Question number eight, three of these birds are flightless. Which one is not? Emu, kiwi, peacock, or penguin? Number eight, three of these birds are flightless. Which one is not? Emu, kiwi, peacock, or penguin? Question number nine, what modern dessert staple gained popularity during World War II due to sugar and sweet fruits being in short supply? What modern dessert staple gained popularity during World War II due to sugar and sweets being in short supply? And question number 10, contact with which of these animals can lead to leprosy in humans? Aardvark, alpaca, anteater, or armadillo? Number 10, contact with which of these animals can lead to leprosy in humans? Aardvark, alpaca, anteater, or armadillo? Those are all of your questions for today's Bizarre Facts episode. You can find more questions just like this that you can host or study on for free at crowdper.com in their huge 500-plus category database. We'll be right back in just a second with the answers. We are back to Bizarre Fact Trivia. Let's see if you knew all these fun and crazy facts. Number one, which of these masterpieces of American literature hit bookstore shelves before the others? Catch-22, Catcher in the Rye, Slaughterhouse-Five, or Fahrenheit-451? The answer was B, The Catcher in the Rye. That one came first in 1951. Catch-22 is 61, Slaughterhouse-569, and Fahrenheit-451, 1953. Number Two, tabby cats have five unique patterns, one of five unique patterns. The most recognizable featuring narrow stripes that run perpendicular to the spine is called the mackerel pattern because of its resemblance to a fish. Mackerel was the answer to number two. Number three, approximately how many hours does it take the average hen to produce one egg? That's about a day, 24 hours for fresh eggs. I had two this morning, made myself a uh, cheddar cheese and red pepper omelet. It was good. Number four, how many different words does the best-selling Dr. Seuss book, Green Eggs and Ham, contain? It was 50, not 150, 100, or 200, but 50, and uh, a lot of fun words. The classic Green Eggs and Ham was not uh, unreceived by everybody. Everybody loved that book when it came out. Number five, in literature, the protagonist is the main character. The deuteragonist is the second most important character, and uh, the third is called the tritagonist. Tritagonist for the third most important character in a book. Number six, taking cravings and convenience to a whole new level. You can buy mashed potatoes in a vending machine at your local Singapore 7-Eleven store. Singapore, they have that. I'm looking at a picture of it right now. You can add, uh, looks like ranch, cheese, gravy, and ketchup to the top of it. It looks pretty gross. Number seven, which of these was not a costume worn by a member of the 70s disco group Village People? It was the first choice park ranger. So there is a cop, a cowboy, and a construction worker, but no park ranger. Number eight, three of these birds are flightless. Which one is not? The answer was peacock from the group. We had emu, kiwi, peacock, and penguin. The answer was peacock. Number nine, what modern dessert staple gained popularity during World War II due to sugar and sweet fruits being in short supply? That was carrot cake. Did you know that one? Carrot cake for the win on that question. And number 10, to close out our Bizarre Facts episode, contact with an armadillo can lead to leprosy in humans. Not an aardvark, an alpaca, or an anteater, but another animal that starts with an A, an armadillo. It says armadillos are one of the only known animals to carry leprosy, an age-old disease that causes skin and nerve damage. Don't ever pick up an armadillo. You never know if uh, your skin will fall off later in the day. Okay, that is it for today's episode. I hope Jenny Yetter liked those episode questions from her pick of Bizarre Facts over on patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Jenny joined us and uh, donates five bucks a month. Thank you, Jenny. Very much appreciate it. Here's your fact of the day. The difference between off-Broadway and Broadway shows refers to the number of seats being less than or more than 500 in total. I had no idea. I thought it was just a certain location in New York that meant it was considered Broadway. Um, And I've been in a lot of plays. So uh, that is news to me. But uh, there you go. Under 500 seats, over 500 seats uh, off or on Broadway. Thank you guys for listening to today's episode. I hope you learned something fun that you can repeat to a friend. 
And while you're repeating that fun fact, uh, also repeat this. Tell them to listen to the trivia with Bud's podcast. That's the easiest way to help promote the show. Word of mouth. Uh, Thanks for the iTunes reviews. Thanks for helping spread the word. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with me. Cheers.